Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss naming conventions for JavaScript variables and JavaScript constants. Naming conventions are the rules for forming variable or constant names. Whenever we name a variable or a constant, we should follow these below mentioned rules or naming conventions. The first rule is variable name and a constant name should be meaningful. You can see here in the previous video tutorial, we wrote this code. We created a variable with the name player one score. We created a constant with the name canvas width, canvas height. They are much more descriptive and meaningful. It is possible to create a variable like this also P1S. I can write a variable were p1s but it is not much more meaningful and descriptive it won't indicate the purpose of a variable right also i can write a constant like this const cw that indicates canvas width ch that indicates canvas height but it's not much more descriptive and meaningful right always the variable name or a constant name should be descriptive and meaningful next Keywords should never be used as a variable name or a constant name. I told you before also that more than 25 plus keywords we have in JavaScript. Those keywords we should never use as a variable name or constant name. Next, the first character can be alphabet, underscore or a dollar. Whenever you create a variable or a constant, the first character can be an alphabet. It may be uppercase or a lowercase. Also, you can use underscore score you can use the first character as an underscore you can also use the first character dollar if you want that's allowed so the first character can be alphabet underscore or dollar character the first character should not be a number if you want to write you can write like this player 9 is a valid variable name but ninth player is not a valid variable name or a constant name the first character should not be a digit friends always the first character should be an alphabet or underscore or dollar all succeeding characters can be alphabets digits or underscores in a variable or a constant all succeeding characters can be a digit can be underscore can be a dollar sign no special characters are allowed except underscore or dollar except underscore or a dollar sign no other special characters are allowed like you cannot use ampersand caret percentage comma you cannot use greater than less than plus minus sign even the space character is not allowed in a variable or constant name more than one successive underscores or dollars should not be used more than one successive underscores or dollars should not be used that means you should not use underscore underscore score you should not use dollar 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 score like that okay next variable names and constant names are case sensitive javascript treats lowercase alphabets and uppercase alphabets completely different that means if you are creating a variable called as num comma n u m num comma n u m comma n u m comma n u m comma like that all of them indicate num only but they are treated completely a different variable friends here actually we are declaring five variables each one is a different variable for each one a different memory location is going to be created by the javascript understanding the reason is we have written the same num in different way by using the uppercase and lowercase letter combination remember that variable names and constant names are case sensitive white space is not allowed while declaring a variable or a constant name use camel case naming convention for naming variables camel case naming convention says if there is a single word in a variable name then all characters should be in lowercase letters and if there are more than one words in a variable name then first words all characters should be in lowercase letters and all succeeding words first character should be in uppercase letter and all succeeding characters in all succeeding words should be in lowercase letters 
So here you can see I have used a camel case naming convention here to name this variable. There are two words we have player and score. The first words all characters are in small letter. The second words first character is in upper case and all other characters are in lower case. That's what the camel case naming convention says. Next, while naming a constant, all characters should be in upper case letters. If there are more than one word in a constant, then words should be separated by underscore character. You can see I declare two constants here. Both constants, all characters are in upper case. You can see that. If there are more than one words, we should separate them by using the underscore. That's what I have done here. Next, no two variables or constants should have a same name in the same scope. I discuss about the same scope later. Remember that no two variables or constants should have the same name. That means you cannot create at a time two variables having the same name and uh, all characters are in, in lower case. Okay. Next. Always initialize a variable and a constant when they are declared. It's a good practice that initializing a variable or a constant when they are declared. Always initialize a variable when it is declared. Always initialize a constant when it is declared. That's a good practice. Next, always use were keyword for declaring variables. That means whenever you declare a variable, use a were keyword. Actually, were keyword is optional. If you do not write the were keyword and write player1 score equal to 0, still the JavaScript has the capability to create a variable or a memory location for player1 score. But it's a good practice that use were keyword always for declaring variable. And also use const keyword for declaring constants. That's what we have in the next. Always use const keyword for declaring constants. Hope you guys have clearly understood naming conventions for JavaScript variables and constants. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch the video again and again. If you have any doubts, please do not hesitate to post the comment so that I can clear your doubt. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.